Hello YouTube, I don't have a great video for you today. Unfortunately, it's just full of bad news. I had a lot of fish die on me in one of my tanks. Uh, I could really use your advice, your help. If anything like this has happened to you before, let me know. But let's take a look at the tank in question and I'll show you exactly what's going on. All right, so here's the tank in question. You can see all of the quarries are doing amazing. I don't know what happened here. Interestingly enough, if you watch a video that I think I posted about a week or two ago, all of the quarries were flashing, which generally means some sort of internal parasite or they just had an itch, but uh, one or two of them were flashing. So I did just kind of throw in some general cure, kept up with the water changes and didn't think too much of it. Uh, last night, I fed bloodworms and was sitting here watching everyone eat bloodworms at like midnight. All the rope fish, uh, the eel was out, everybody was out. And it was just a lot of fun. It was fun to watch them. There was no signs of anything. And then, boom, this morning I came in my room and uh, everything was just dead. Well, not everything, but to me it feels like everything just died on me. There is still two cupid cichlids alive in here and I believe one of the red tail plecos. You can see everything's different. It's really messy in here. I just did a huge water change. So the water's messy, the glass is messy, sorry about that. I treated with erythromycin, general cure, and ICX this time. Like I said, it was the quarries that originally looked like they had a problem a few weeks ago. And every single one of them is alive. I have not lost any of them. You can see they're actually spawning right now. Even with the medication in the water, I threw in a ton of salt. I've increased the temperature and the quarries are just going crazy. So this is just really bizarre. And then the two remaining cupid cichlids are hiding in the back. One rope fish and, of course, the eel. Uh, the rope fish does have some kind of lesions on them. But other than that, there was nothing odd looking about the fish. They looked normal. They were just dead. And I know a lot of people are going to say it's the blood worms, but I fed almost every tank that has plecos or quarries in it blood worms last night. And this was the only tank that was affected. So we got to rule out the blood worms just on that. Um, I, I really just don't have a clue what happened. I'm fairly confident that the quarries are going to make it right. They're all spruced up and lively. Uh, the rope fish, when he swims, swims very sporadically. So cross your fingers. I'm hoping he makes it. The cupid cichlids won't move at all. They are just hunkered down behind the wood. I can't get a good shot at them, but I had the lid off, I have everything off. So that's what's going on right now. This is day one. I just got done with the water change. I threw the meds in there about two hours ago. We're going to check back in tomorrow and just kind of see how everyone's doing. So this guy, he's never really made that face before, which is kind of weird. He's always stuck his nose out, but never in the air like that. He's, he's sticking his nose up at me. He knows I did something wrong. I don't know what I did, but we'll check back in tomorrow and just see how everyone's doing. All right, everyone. So it is the next day. And you can see we now have ick in the tank as well as whatever was harming these fish and caused them to die in the first place. So what has happened is now they're stressed out and they got ick. It's only on the cupid cichlids though. As you can see, we got a quarry back here. No white spots. I don't see any of the other quarries right now. So now we are battling ick. We are not doing any medications today. We will do round two tomorrow after 48 hours when this video is actually going to be releasing. Uh, I am removing, oh, here come some quarries. See, they're still active. There's no ick on them. That's the same one, but here's another one. If you saw, there was no white spot. So I'm rushing this video out because I'm looking for advice. Obviously, I know meds, uh, water changes, water parameters, all that jazz, right? But what I'm curious is what could possibly be going on here. If anyone else has gone through something like this, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, it's just weird to have everything eating healthy perfectly one day and then, you know, the next morning they're all dead. Not all of them, but most of the fish in the tank are dead. So just let me know down below if any of you have had something like this happen. I'm not going to do an outro or anything like that. Uh, I just want to get this video out so we can try to get these fish healthy. So if you have any advice or if this has happened to you, again, please let me know down below. And I look forward to all the help I can get.